Hey there everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about a developer roadmap that you will need to become a Solana blockchain developer. Now Solana blockchain is a very flexible blockchain which has seen huge growth after it was launched back in 2019. And the best thing about the chain is that people with the greatest talent are working in the chain. The community is really, really supportive and even the most accomplished people will always try to help you. I have been in the Solana ecosystem building stuff for about four months now and I have been absolutely loving it here. The Solana ecosystem achieves consensus through the proof of stake mechanism, which allows the chain to have really high transactions per second, uh, which is about 65,000 and really low gas fees, about a few cents. So without any further ado, let's look at the Solana blockchain developer roadmap. So the first thing you need to learn before doing anything is learn Rust. Rust is a low level language with a huge learning curve and it is one of the best programming languages I have coded in. It can feel a bit tougher than other programming languages, but once you master it, there is really no looking back. So I have learned Rust from two resources which I feel are the best. One is the Rust book, which has been written by the Rust core team itself. And the second one is an interactive coding track on Rust by Exorcism. Apart from this, there are some YouTube channels where you can learn Rust. Let's get Rusty is one of them. All the links for these resources will be down in the description. Okay, so after you have spent some time learning Rust, you could start reading about Web3 Fundamentals. The best way to learn about it is through the blog Getting Started with Solana Development written by Chase Barker. He talks about some high level features of the Solana blockchain in brief and it could give you great insights about starting development in Solana. You should also look at the Solana cookbook which talks about Solana development in detail. After this, you have to learn about Anchor. It is a framework on top of Rust which helps you to write Solana programs. So the best resource for learning Anchor is the Anchor book. It has all the relevant chapters you need to know about Anchor and writing Solana programs on Anchor. After you have learned Anchor, now is a great time to look at the Solana Quest book. It is a great accumulation of the best content out there. Links down in the description. Now after this, you have known the bare minimum you need to know to write Solana programs. Now comes projects. Build as many projects as you can and I will list some tutorials which I followed and which helped me a lot. The first one is a counter and it is the easiest project you can do to start your Solana development journey. It has been accumulated in a blog by Nader Dabit and you will find the link down in the description. Next, you could try out a mini voting project, Learning How to Build on Solana, written by Brian Freer. You could try out an escrow program written by GitHub user Iron Addicted Dog. Next, I would ask you to look at a social media dApp on Solana written by Loris Livia. Uh, he uses Anchor to build the Solana programs and Vue to build the front end. It's a great full stack web3 dap which you could learn and get your hands really dirty with solana development lastly i would ask you to check out the solana jeff board programs dap project by the build space community it is one of the best communities i have been in and honestly i love what they are doing in the web3 space um, next you could check out the soldev app it's a content aggregator for solana and i used it to find most of the content here for this video so when you are in your Solana developer journey doing cool stuff in the Solana ecosystem, you will notice that there is not a lot of content out there for Solana developers as there is in the ETH ecosystem. The reason for it is very simple. Solana is new. Ethereum has been here for a long time, whereas Solana came just back in 2019. Many developers don't like the fact that it wouldn't be an easy journey and hence they don't take this path. But the fact is the community for Solana is really strong and the tech is very promising. 
Now, if you are stuck in your dev journey, it is not like you won't find any help if you ask for it. You just have to know where to ask. The best places where I have had my doubts cleared are the Anchor Discord server and the Solana Discord server. Great places with great people. You could also try to find subreddits which encourage talking about Solana program development. So folks, that was it for the video and I hope you will start your Web3 journey in Solana right now. Like and subscribe for more Web3 content and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.